Hi, I'm Renetta, and in this video I'm going to show you how to fit a roller blind to your window. You'll need a few basic tools for this, so before you start, I'd recommend laying out your tools to ensure you have everything you need to hand. Our roller blind brackets have two sets of screw holes and can be rotated to suit a variety of positions. They can be fitted inside the recess, outside the recess, into the ceiling, or into the wall. In this video, I'll be fitting the blind inside the window recess, but this process is similar for the other positions. This will require me to cut the blind to size. Remember, once a blind has been cut, it cannot be returned, so it's important to take your time with this step. If in doubt, cut your blind slightly larger than required, and then, if necessary, trim until it fits. Also, not all blinds can be cut, so to be sure, please check the details of your chosen blind. So, Let's fix the brackets. Using a pencil, mark the position of the brackets and drill the holes. Fix the brackets in place using suitable fixings and wall plugs. If screws and plugs are provided, ensure that they are suitable for your type of wall or window. If in doubt, consult a professional. If you are happy with the size of your blind and it doesn't need to be cut to size, then you can skip the next few steps. With your brackets in place, Measure the distance between them. To get the right measurement for the blind fabric and bottom bar, take 3.2 centimetres off this measurement to allow for the mechanism. So for example, the measurement I've taken between the brackets is 109.5 centimetres. I then remove 3.2 centimetres, so the blind fabric and the bottom bar need to be 106.3 centimetres wide. Use a craft knife or sharp scissors to carefully cut the fabric and a hacksaw to trim the bottom bar. Next, we need to cut the top bar. This needs to be slightly longer than the blind fabric, so you only need to take 2.7 centimetres off the measurement between the brackets. So again, the measurement I've taken between the brackets is 109.5 centimetres. I then deduct an extra 2.7 centimetres and cut the top bar to 106.8 centimetres wide. Now the tricky part is done. You just need to roll the blind back up tightly, keeping the edges straight and aligned. Slip the bottom bar back into the bottom of the blind fabric. Choose which side you would like the chain to be fitted and slot this into place. Take care to ensure the chain guard is positioned at the top to allow for correct operation. Push the pivot end into the other side. To fit the blind to your window, fit the pivot end first. This has a spring fitted for easier installation. Push this into place, then finish with the control mechanism end. Last but not least, we need to install the cord tensioning child safety device. Sometimes this is also called a P-clip. Clip the device to the blind cord and make a pencil mark where to drill the hole. The cord should have continuous tension, but still be able to run through the device. And that's it. Thanks for watching.